<laughs> been together um, I think when my lease was up. I think it was like in April or May or June. I don't know. Hi, my name is Courtney. I teach at City of Medicine Academy in Durham. And one of the things that I learned today um, when we were discussing the role of the instructional coach is something I've already experienced um, is instructional rounds. And the benefit of instructional rounds as a new teacher, I found that the instructional coach was able to come in and actually take the time and assess the students and how they were responding and give some advice on student interaction and what I could do in the classroom. So it wasn't specifically anything against how I was teaching, but how the instructional coach can come in and view the students and see them in a different light than I can and help with that. My name is Grace Sweeney. I'm a teacher at Robinson Early College. And what I've kind of learned from this workshop these past couple days is that it's important to not only get students engaged, but to keep them engaged and make this sort of engagement an everyday activity and not something that happens once in a blue moon. And that's what New Schools Projects is really, really trying to strive for and do in every classroom, every day. And by being here, I'm going to be able to take this back to my school. Hi, um, my name is Takiya Myers. I teach at J.D. Clement Early College High School in Durham. My first year teaching there, first year hearing of an early college or teaching at an early college, but I'm very excited. It really is an answer to my prayers, actually, to be in a place where I can grow professionally, and I'm excited about working with my instructional coach. Um, I was a little bit overwhelmed at first with all the information that I was getting. Not that it was new, but I felt like all this stuff is things that I need to go back and put into my classroom. But one of the things I learned that it takes patience and it takes practice. Um, and so I, I really like the session on cooperative grouping. And that's something that um, I think will be a challenge for my class because I teach Spanish. And so I'm thinking, how can I get them to get in the groups and speak in Spanish? But I know I can do it. I just need to plan, you know, and whatever doesn't work, I move on to something else and change. And so I'm really excited about, about trying those things and not feeling like they have to work right away, but just giving them a chance. And also about working with um, Barb, my instructional coach, um, to keep improving my students. My name is Wendy Drake, and I'm from Bertie Early College in Bertie County. And I also went to the what was it called the new the Summer Institute in Worcester, and we learned lots of great stuff that we carried back to our school. There was two other teachers that weren't with us, and we've been working hard to to bond and get everything right in our school because we haven't had the same teachers there for a whole year yet. And we're on the third year. <laughs> so <laughs> we're working very hard, and this institute is also helping to enhance me. As my, I'm a new teacher, and I'm just starting, but it's really been great. I've learned lots of great skills and lots of good practice on different group work and how to manage classroom talking and questioning. So it's been a great experience. Everybody should go. <laughs>